Part number nine. On the following problem, we have two expressions that are dividing. So in order to be able to simplify this, I'm going to change my division to a multiplication by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction. So the first fraction will stay exactly as it is, 24x to the negative 7 over 14y to the 6 power. The second equation, I'm going to take the reciprocal, so it'll be 21y to the negative 4, and this will give me 18x to the negative 8. And from here, we simplify. Now, if you notice, all of your answers are 2 and 1, 2 and 1, 2 and 1. So no, I know that my answer should have a 2 and my 1. So I'm not going to worry about the numbers. I'm just going to, oh, about the coefficients. I'm just going to worry about the exponents. I notice I have some negative exponents. So if it's negative, it gets switched to the opposite side. So it'll be x to the 7. I find another one that's negative. I'm going to move it up x to the 8, and the y will be moved down y to the 4. So let's see. Uh, on, let's do, deal with the x's first. I have 8 and 7. So we're going to subtract 8 minus 7, which gives me 1. What you say, you know, 7 cancels, and there's 1 left over on the numerator. For the y's, there are no y's on the, on the numerator, so I just have a 6 and 4 more are a total of 10. And I need to check and see which is my correct answer. And none of them are. Did you guys find my, can you guys find my mistake in here? That's right. This is a 9. 9, 8. So that's a 9. So therefore, there's a square in here. So now x squared and y to the 10. That should be letter B. Now, some of you guys say, you know, how do I get the 2 and the 1? The best thing to do is to be able to simplify your reduce it. So, one number divides 14 and 24. I'm going to reduce it by 2. So, it gives me a 12. And I'm gonna, that gives me a 7. 21 and 18, I can divide by 3. So, it gives me a 7. And that gives me a 6. Now, I'm going to reduce my 7s, so they cancel out. And I'm going to reduce my 12. I'm going to re reduce it by 6, so it gives me a 2. And that gives me a 1. So on the numerator, I just have a 2. On the denominator, I just have a 1. And that's my answer.